Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Don't worry, I'm going to try and not stick my face in the front today like I did yesterday with the uh, the other um, first look box opening, whatever you want to call them. I prefer to call them first looks and that's not because it's my or, do you know what I mean, your first look or the first time it's been ever seen on the internet. It's our first look at the product together. He says in a very um, Abby from CIS, NCIS way. Anyway, so Asus in, uh, Maximus 6 Impact. Now, the Maximus 6 Impact. Oh, I wonder if you heard my Skype golf then. Maximus 6 Impact is the first Republic of Gamers uh, MITX uh, motherboard, so mini ITX motherboard. Um, now, uh, the mini ITX, it, it's kind of had a reputation previously about uh, whether it's smaller, just being kind of low power and uh, like media machines or people that don't really need a lot, but obviously the CPU power requirements have dropped significantly over the last couple of generations, which has allowed uh, manufacturers to squeeze more and more out of the CPUs on these smaller boards. Now, uh, if we have a look, they talk about uh, impact power and Supreme FX impact, and it's got, um, basically, there's a lot of stuff on here that I'm gonna actually show you on the motherboard itself. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go straight down to the nitty gritty and get the motherboard uh, out. But what I'll do is I'll move the box carefully to one side so that we can pick it back up later. So, <laughs> it even makes me laugh. So the motherboard, so we put it down. Do we want to put it down? Yeah, we'll put it down and we'll, uh, we'll zoom you in. Let's do this, woo, and we'll do that. Ta -da! Right, then you're not going to feel sick and you've just got to listen to me kind of wittering away, haven't you? So, the, uh, the boards themselves are actually only 17 centimetres or 170 millimetres square. So there's, you've got a lot to kind of squeeze into them. Now previously with these, there's been a lot of kind of incarnations of these. Uh, but what the uh, manufacturers have started to do now, they've realised that PCI Express is actually quite a good idea and there are a lot of cases that, that do support these. Something that I do kind of uh, need to say though is with the old PCI Express slot is that uh, you obviously, if, you, if you're going to run a graphics card on this, you need to get a mini ITX board uh, with uh, a second slot underneath if you're going to be running, you know, like a bigger graphics card or something. So if you want to put, say for argument's sake, you can if you want to, put a Titan in here or a 780, you'll obviously need a second slot. Something else to consider as well is if your second slot is smack bang at the bottom of your case, your graphics card might not be able to breathe that well. So when you do buy these, you do need to take a little bit uh, of time to consider, you know, uh, breathe in, um, you know, how things are gonna fit, are things gonna get fed enough air, all that type of thing. And you, can, you do have to be kind of careful with your choices. But because things are, so small, itty bitty, teeny tiny, it's so sweet. What they've done is they've uh, they've essentially gone upwards. It's just like a city. Uh, they ran out of space on the floor, so everything starts going upwards. So we've got the, the power board here, which if I was to unbolt this, the, uh, what do they call it? There's a name for it. I need to find the box that I've just chucked over here. They call it the impact power. Uh, you can unbolt this and you can actually remove the power board altogether. I think it is, yeah, there's gold pins. I'm looking at the same time as I'm showing you, but you can see there's gold pins and stuff. Now, so they've gone up with it. They did do this on the Z77 board before, but obviously now we've got, you know, um, Republic of Gamers and stuff with it. But around the back as well, like I said, they've not had uh, much room on the board because we've got a power switch here and a reset switch, which is a great addition on a board this size. But obviously they'd normally have a lot of other things on a, on a ROG board, especially one of the expensive ones, because this is gonna come in at around 190 quid. Uh, so where they can't get it on the board, they've kind of, they've got it on the back, but they've also gone up with. So we've got the CMOS uh, um, clear, we've got uh, the, the link button so you can flash from a USB, and then we've got a, a memo K button and a, a direct, key button but we've also got the PCI poster on the back now that might be a bit of a pain in the ass if you're actually I'll cut it down so it focuses that might be a bit of a pain in the bum if uh, you know you're having to pull your case around to fault find and stuff but it would be better to have this round the back than not have it at all campers wouldn't it 
while we're also around the back, because obviously uh, the, the Haswell stuff has got onboard video, we've got a full-size display port, HDMI, and then we've got um, digital optical audio out, four USB 2s, four USB 3s, we've got a USB and an eSATA there, and then gigabit uh, Ethernet. Now I will come back around and talk about this section in a minute because there's more that we can talk about down here but I want to finish talking about the board itself. We've got two uh, obviously DDR3 slots here. Obviously we can get um, 8 gigabyte sticks of memory now so you can easily have uh, 16 gigabytes of memory in this still. 24 pin and an 8 pin for your power, 8 pin obviously for the CPU. Uh, we have a uh, USB 3 here. Now I know while I'm here people are going to be going, oh my god, it's got vertical uh, SATA ports. Now when you think about the way that the uh, cables are, I think I'd rather have my SATA ports vertical and here than trying to have a USB 3 port inboard slightly because a uh, SATA cable you can just kind of fold over. You're going to have a graphics card here, you could have it here, kind of fold it over and have it underneath your... Um, uh, your dim kind of clips here and it could go off and it wouldn't be too much of a problem whereas with the internal USB 3's they're quite thick connectors real thick cables as well you'd end up having to have that big thing going right the way over the top of your memory you'd never get it round your graphics card well not tidily anyway it'd end up going like over the top of the, the memory bit here or something it just wouldn't be tidy so this is a bit of a pain in the butt cheeks uh, but then again, you, you do have to kind of make some, um, you know, sacrifices somewhere. And I don't really see this being, uh, you know, too much of a sacrifice. Uh, fan headers, I'm just noticing up in this corner, we've got one, two, three, right the way up in the left hand corner. Oh, there's a fly I wanted to make an appearance. I've got the window open up in that corner. And there's another one down there. So we've got one there, two, three, four in total. Now, with an MITX board like this, obviously because of the price, um, we've kind of uh, got used to where they are cheaper. You don't generally get a lot in the box with them. Uh, but with this being 190 quid, you do get a fair old bit with these. You get a really nice, uh, as you'd expect with the ROG stuff, uh, uh, back plate. Might not sound like something that you want to get excited about, but it's so nice to have the, the nice softness in the back. These two things I want to talk to you about separately, so I'm going to put those with the board. We've got um, a wireless uh, stand and you know connector area, or whatever you want to call it. SATA cables, your user manual, what be this? Uh, that's your front panel connectors. So we've got that. Those bits in the box. <laughs> Move the motherboard back in. So we uh, will open this. I need to actually watch what I'm doing I'm renowned for pulling these cables off. Okay, so there we have it's their MPCIe combo, and this is uh, Bluetooth and wireless. I've got to admit, I'm not a fan of wireless. Uh, I personally always use home plugs. Just clip it in, you don't have any problems about, you know, but people do want to use wireless. Our homes are full of it. My laptop and my phone do, uh, just my desktops don't. And uh, essentially, you can uh, clip this in, Bosch. It goes down here, out the back of the old case, uh, you know, out the back. You've got your connectors there for the aerial that I showed you before. So there's your Bluetooth and your wireless. So there's that. Other package though. And this is the, 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 the nice one. And I need to get the box to be able to read you the stuff about this because this is actually quite cool. So this. Now I can't fit it properly because it's got screws on it but it's a Supreme uh, FX um, sound card and it clips in here and it does go over the top of the heatsink you can see that the heatsink's actually got a little cut out there for it and it does clip over the top and that gives you your audio for the back now I'm just going to put this down because I've only got two hands, I'm not an octopus, and I need to look at the box so I can show you. Now, people would say, oh, Tom, you should have been more prepared. And it's just like, well, I am prepared. It's written on the box. Um, so it says, uh, ROG upscales audio on the Mini ITX, bringing you the best in class, 115 decibel signal-to-noise ratio sound with the included Supreme Effect Impact sound card. 
Now the kind of um, uh, things to kind of uh, highlight really is it's got an audio, audio file grade TI-LM4562 OP amp. So we've got that. Um, it's got uh, a, a differential circuit design for the OP amps at the back of the I.O. which is apparently around the back. Um, and it's also saying about the uh, Supreme FX uh, metal shield that obviously um, blocks digital signals from interfering with the analog sources. It's all stuff to me that uh, is all a bit over my head, but it all sounds pretty nice. Uh, and uh, Asus have you know, kind of got a bit of a reputation for having pretty good audio, and uh, they've been running these Supreme FX <coughs> Um, sound cards with their stuff for uh, you know ages. I can remember Supreme FX on old 775 stuff. Um, so you've got that there that you can uh, clip in. That's not obviously screwed in properly. But another thing that I wanted to say is um, uh, now that's not enormous when you think about it at the back, but it is still pretty tall. If that was a heatsink, it would be pretty enormous. So when, you, uh, when you're buying your um, heat sinks for these, you are going to have to uh, make your uh, choices wisely. Put it in the middle, Tom. Come on, people are trying to watch your video. You are going to have to make your heat sink choices wisely. Obviously, if you had something like the H100i or the H80i, then you're only going to have to worry about it there. But if you're going for an air cooler, um, something like the uh, Noctua face-down coolers could serve you really well. They will, that will go over this. You're still going to have to go careful with how big your memory is, but that will go nicely over this, and it'll also direct some airflow straight down at the board as well. Um, so it really depends on what kind of configuration that you're going to you're going to run. Uh, another version of the cooling, which has just been released, is uh, Bits Power have a, an all like a, a full cover block, which calls the chipset uh, as well. Um, calls the chipset, calls the CPU, and it calls the the MOSFET up here. But again, with that. Um, I would uh, want to see whether you could run this or not. I don't know how close uh, or whether you'll be able to get this uh, this audio section on. Um, so it's something I have requested one. I should have one coming. Uh, I think they're being uh, they're, they actually go into they're not properly into manufacture yet. Um, so I think they're uh, I, they're hoping to have me one out by the end of next week or the week after. That could mean that I might not make a video on it for another month because we never know how long it's going to take to come through customs and I obviously have a lot of stuff to do here as well. But it is something that I am looking at doing in the in the not too distant future and as soon as it's here I'll get it in the diary so that I can uh, you know get things done for you. So there we go, it's our first look at the Maximus 6 Impact. First IOG uh, MATX board, uh, MATX board, MITX board, mini ITX does seem to cram a lot into quite a small package. I did initially think that uh, when I first looked that it was uh, quite expensive. Uh, but when you kind of look at all the things that they have kind of crammed on there, the extra um, power phases, the sound card, all the bits and bobs, the LCD reader, the fact that we have actually got a, um, a start button, something I did forget to tell you is up here, it's actually got, um, yeah, get it in the middle so they can see again, Tom. There's some uh, posters up here that you can, switch over and there's a, a fast boot um, poster and then there's also an LN2 mode so it's even designed to be able to run Sub-Zero. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure but I would hazard a guess that it's the first um, MITX board <coughs> that can be Sub-Zero which obviously means really cranking the overclocks and stuff like that. I don't know why you'd want to limit yourself with such a small PCB when uh, you don't necessarily get points for the motherboard that you actually use. It's more about the overclocks and the CPU and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. We've done almost 15 minutes just on me showing you something coming out of a box. But uh, these, uh, these smaller form factors are becoming incredibly, incredibly popular now. And thanks to uh, people like BitPhoenix, the, the case uh, choices are starting to expand more and more now. So you've got a lot more options with... Um, uh, your cooling options and case choices and you know all that kind of stuff whereas before it was really limited things are starting to get opened up a little bit more now making your choices with these type of boards a lot easier so for now at least this is tiny tom logan you've not seen my face so please be kind and say thank you to me in the comments but this is tiny tom logan with another video for you out <laughs>